The Corpse Reviver is a beloved classic pre-prohibition cocktail, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite riffs or variations on it, the Mezcal Corpse Reviver. I've featured the Corpse Reviver on this channel before, and it is a super classic cocktail that cocktail nerds like me are absolutely obsessed with. And I'm a big fan of it myself. Now, Mezcal also happens to be my favorite spirit. Uh, it's the one that I like to drink the most. It's the one that I enjoy making cocktails with the most because it's very complex. So, when I discovered the recipe for this cocktail, the Mezcal Corpse Reviver, in my the newest book that I just added to my collection, Mezcal and Tequila Cocktails, by Robert Simonson, I was super intrigued. I was like, no, I gotta give this a shot. Uh, one of the things that I find a little interesting about it is that it doesn't even use lemon juice like the original Corpse Reviver does. Uh, it actually calls for a mixture of lime juice and grapefruit juice. But enough talk, let's dive into this cocktail. But before we get into the actual cocktail, if you guys enjoyed this video at any moment, hit that like button. Give me a little thumbs up. It's a super easy way to help me out. And if you're enjoying it, let me know. Right, let's build this cocktail. So we're gonna grab our small shaker here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is an ounce of Lillet Blanc. So Technically, the recipe calls for Coqui Americano, which I do not have, and Lillet Blanc is a relatively comparable substitute. Um, this is the one that I've used in my Corpse Survivors in the past, and we're gonna use this one. But if you have Coqui Americano, use that one. And we're gonna do an ounce of this, which is a uh, wine-based aperitif or, or, or liqueur, I guess you could say. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Pierre Franz Dry Curacao. Very tasty, very tasty three quarters of an ounce. And then we're gonna do a half ounce of grapefruit juice. I already pre-cut up my grapefruit so that they can fit into my citrus juicer. Um, and I like to use fresh grapefruit juice because grapefruit juice, as soon as you squeeze it, it tends to start to go bad pretty quickly. So I usually don't even keep any on hand like I normally do at the bar with lime and lemon juice. Um, but grapefruit juice is one that I usually always squeeze fresh. So we're gonna do a half ounce of grapefruit juice. It doesn't like to come out of the juicer though. It has to come out of the side. All right, okay. Just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. A half ounce of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. We are then going to do a quarter of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. We're gonna cut up our lime and freshly squeeze the limey juice. I'm gonna use our really small jigger for this one, so a quarter of an ounce of lime juice. And then we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of our mezcal. The book does call for El Bujo mezcal, I don't have that mezcal, and we're, so we're gonna be using Los Vecinos del Campo, which is one of my favorite mezcals that I carry at my bar. So we we'll do three quarters of an ounce of our Espadine mezcal here. And last but not least, I do have our chilled coupe glass here. Uh, what we're gonna do is one bar spoon of absinthe. I'm using St. George's uh, Absinthe Verde uh, for this. And we're gonna do one bar spoon directly into our chilled cocktail glass. And the reason you do it into a chilled glass is that absinthe likes, uh, tends to stick better to cold surfaces. So you take a nice chilled low ball or cube. I keep saying low ball. It's been a couple of outtakes that you guys probably don't, won't see. Um, but we're just gonna swirl it around and then we're gonna toss it. Uh, we don't want that much absinthe flavor, but just a little bit. So a nice coating on your uh, chilled coupe glass. And then we're gonna fill up our shaker with ice, give it a good shake and double strain into our glass here. Grab our shaker and give it a good shake. And then let's pop that open. And we're going to be double straining into this glass. And it doesn't require a garnish, uh, but if you'd like to get fancy with it for friends or family, um, I would actually recommend either a grapefruit twist uh, expressed over the top and then rim and then as like a little twist on the side. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't think it needs it. Um, but it looks like a Corpse Reviver. Seems pretty similar. And let's just smell that. 
It's very interesting. The absinthe is the first thing that hits your nose and it almost subdues the mezcal completely, which is a very fascinating thing for mezcal cocktails because it doesn't happen every time you make a mezcal cocktail. Usually they kind of, the mezcal smokiness kind of just comes right through and punches you in the face. Uh, so let's give that a sip. Ooh, gosh, that's, that is right up my alley and that is amazing. So, it is very reminiscent of a, of a normal Corpse Survivor. It has the, the really interesting absinthe, absinthe flavor on the nose and a little bit on the palate. You get the dry curacao. The grapefruit provides a really cool uh, citrus element along with the lime. Uh, the lalay is, you know, since that was what we used most of in this recipe, it does carry itself through. And that's kind of what gives its, its linkage to the original Corpse Survivor. And then you really don't get much smoke from the mezcal in this cocktail. It does get subdued by the other flavors, but not in a bad way. It doesn't feel like it's hiding or anything. It's still relatively present, but very, very subtle. And mezcal is not typically a subtle ingredient in cocktails. And so I really enjoy this. And I think this is the kind of cocktail that you can kind of make for someone who isn't super into mezcal and you kind of want to get them there, which is one of my favorite things to do because I love the spirit so much. But it is an excellent cocktail and it's a really great twist on an awesome classic. You'll go to a lot of classic cocktail bars and they'll have the Corpse Survivor on the menu or you'll see friends talking about it, at least I do. <laughs> um, and it's always fun when you have a really awesome riff on a classic cocktail like this one. But there you have it guys, the Mezcal Corpse Survivor. If you enjoyed this episode, it would mean the world to me if you would consider subscribing to my channel. Every week I post videos about cocktail recipes, my favorite spirits, I teach you how to become a better bartender and make better drinks, and what it's like to own my own restaurant and bar. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, I think you should consider subscribing. I'm a pretty cool dude, or at least that's what my mom tells me, and so I think it'd be cool if you subscribed. But that's enough for me. I've got an amazing cocktail to get back to, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.